Hello everyone, welcome to Culinary Blogs by Z. My name is Zakia and today we are making Egyptian goulash with phyllo pastry. This is a Mediterranean Egyptian traditional dish using mince and phyllo and makes for a delicious savory. So let's get started. We will start with the filling and for this we will need to finely chop one onion and braise this in two tablespoons of olive oil. Once the onions have browned, add in 500 grams of washed beef mince and leave to cook for about 10 minutes on medium heat. As I mentioned earlier, this is a perfect savory served with dips and sauces and can also be used in lunch boxes. Add in the following spices, 1 teaspoon rough salt, 1 teaspoon allspice powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper powder, 1 teaspoon of red chili flakes, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon powder and a quarter teaspoon of ginger powder. Mix this all together and leave to simmer for another 10 minutes until all the water in the pot dries out. Egyptian goulash is similar to the English meat pie using phyllo pastry but uses an amazing blend of traditional Middle Eastern spices. You can also substitute the meat filling for spinach and feta using the same spices which also tastes absolutely divine. Just don't cook the feta with the spinach. Drizzle the crumbs when layering the phyllo. After 10 minutes, add in 2 tablespoons of tomato puree and wait another 5 minutes before removing the pot from the stove. Once we've removed the pot from the stove, make your milk mixture. For this, you will need 250 ml of milk, 1 egg, one tablespoon of flour, beat this all together and add in salt and pepper to taste. And now for the layering. Brush some melted butter ghee on a casserole. Then place two sheets of thawed phyllo pastry over the butter ghee. It's okay if they overlap for now because we're going to fold them in. Then brush more melted key over this.
Throw in half of the cooked mince over this layer. Then place two more phyllo sheets over the mince and layer. Fold in as previously done and brush these with melted butter ghee. Now add in the rest of the cooked mince. And lastly, place two phyllo sheets over the mince and brush the last layer with melted ghee. Using an extremely sharp knife, cut the phyllo topping to the bottom of the casserole and make these equally sized squares. This can be quite tricky, so make sure you don't tear the phyllo. Lastly, pour the milk mixture over the cut edges making sure this goes between all the layers right to the bottom of the casserole. Bake this in a preheated oven 180 degrees Celsius for about 45 minutes until the top is a golden brown. Egyptian goulash with phyllo pastry is now ready to be served. You can serve this with a nice salad and some amazing sauces and dips. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Until the next vlog, happy cooking.